People who try to start charter schools often say, oh, the bureaucrats make it so hard, they put up all these obstacles, and that's why there aren't enough charters yet to have a real market. Except in one town, most kids now attend charters. How'd that happen? Hurricane Katrina on track to make a direct hit on the low-lying city of New Orleans. It happened Maximum because of a hurricane. It's in all eyes on New Orleans, not only a famous city, but below sea levels. This entire area will be underwater. Mother Nature is in charge, and now Mother Nature has dealt one horrific blow. When Katrina flooded New Orleans, it didn't just destroy much of the city. It also destroyed the school system. Some school reformers thought maybe that's what needed to happen. It was probably one of the worst school districts in the country. It was a horror. Before Katrina, how was schools, I mean, they were just failing. The choice was, do you rebuild what was there or do you build something entirely new? Louisiana built something new. They made it easy for people to open charters. You tell the state, here's my plan. Ben Markovitz started a charter school called Psy Academy. We have complete control over the quality of our instruction. When he started his school in 2008, he was the only employee. He drove his car around New Orleans until 3 in the morning, putting up signs advertising his school. And you see this, this number right here, that was my cell phone. He had to advertise because students had to choose to go there. They didn't just get sent here because they live nearby. We were putting these up everywhere. He even went to people's houses to recruit. Living in New Orleans, we've never had that. Her son Reggie goes to Psy Academy. He came out and he interviewed, he talked to me, then he talked to Reggie and he was explaining to him about the hours and academics and stuff. When the school opened, only a third of the students were proficient on state tests. I know half of them didn't know how to read. Now, Psy Academy's test results are among the best in the city, even though the school itself is just a bunch of trailers. There's a plan in my mind to have a permanent building, but if you walk into a school and the first thing they tell you are complaints about their facilities, they're probably not focused on the right things. How did Psy Academy do it? Pencils down, please. Good morning, third period. Well, teachers have to perform because the principal can fire at will. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we have at-well contracts at the school. Sharon Clark runs another New Orleans charter, and she too fires the weakest teachers. I call it freeing up a person's future. The charter law also allows parents to fire a school. If they don't like this school, they can send their kid to another. Sharon needs to work hard because she worries about losing her charter. Yes, every day, sir. Good morning, class of 2013! Good morning, Miss that competition drives schools to try different things, like this morning ritual at Psy Academy. Who are you? A scholar! My education is my future, and the future is now. Why are you here? This seems a little cult-like, and some kids didn't take it seriously. But something worked. Oh, it is a major difference. Since he's been here, he's become more responsible, uh, thinking, even though I didn't like the school at first, as I went to school, I started to want to go to college more because I saw how important it was. Now Reggie's mother is getting ready to start college. So Reggie tutored her for a test using skills he learned at Psy. This is how it should have been before Katrina. So this charter's grown from one employee into another school that's so popular it holds a lottery to decide who gets in. We are going to have a waiting list of about 200 students long. This is our first uh, choice by far. Then, As you saw in Harlem, nervous kids and relatives sit anxiously, hoping their name will be called. Some go away happy. Thank you. Yay, you're pretty! Most do not. It just goes to show that like, this kind of school is badly, badly needed in the city. And this kind of education is exactly what we need to be offering to every single kid. Today, most kids in New Orleans attend charter schools, and test scores across the city are better. Many of the greatest cities in the world have been reborn amid crises. The Chicago fire resulted in a greater Chicago being built. The San Francisco earthquake resulted in a much more dynamic, safer city emerging. The fire of London resulted in a, in a much greater capital emerging. Well. 
you know, people in New Orleans are rebuilding the city for the better, the school choice movement is here to stay. It will never go back.